antimicrobial activities of garlic and ginger extracts on some clinical isolates. This article is written by six authors. First author Ryotzer, B. I. Second author Goi, F. Third author Oadoja, O. E. Fourth author Raji, O. R. Fifth author Yusuf, Z. Last author Roy Wool, O. A. Contribution and originality of the study is that, this study is one of the very few studies which have investigated the use of garlic and ginger for their antimicrobial properties aside from their use as spices. These plant-based extracts provide hope for solving antimicrobial resistance problems since it is difficult for microorganisms to develop resistance to them. The antibacterial activity of inhexane and methanol extracts of ginger and garlic was determined in vitro against Escherichia coli, Salmonella enterica, Klebs yulinomoniae and Shigella dysenteriae using Agarwell diffusion technique. The phytochemical screening revealed the presence of flavonoids, sipnins, carbohydrates, alkaloids and triterpenes in the plant extracts. The inhexin and methanol extracts of garlic were observed to be more potent against S. dysenteriae with maximum zone of inhibition of 27 mm at 40 mg slash ml and 29 mm at 80 mg slash ml. The inhexin and methanol extracts of ginger were observed to be more potent against E. coli with maximum zone of inhibition of 16 mm at 40 mg slash ml and 19 mm at 80 mg slash ml. The mic of the methanolic extract against the test organisms was determined to show values between 5 and 20 mg slash ml. In comparison, the inhexin extract had MIC values between 2.5 and 10 mg slash ml. The methanol extract of gingers had MIC values between 10 and 40 mg slash ml while the inhexin had MIC values between 10 and 20 mg slash ml. The MBC of methanol garlic extract was between 10 and 40 mg slash ml. The inhexin garlic extract had MBC values between 2.5 and 20 mg slash ml. The methanol extract of gingers had MBC values between 10 and 40 mg slash ml while the inhexin ginger extract had MBC values between 10 and 20 mg slash ml. The result of the study showed that the extracts had activity against the test organisms and as such could be used for drug development. Thanks for watching this video of the International Journal of Biotechnology Volume 8 Issue Number 1.